Welcome to the Dallas Cowboys Studio. Welcome to www.differencemakerbiblestudy.org. I am your host, Difference Maker, real name Karsten Miller. Today we are going to look at the Word of God. We are going to look at the Word of God through what I call the Daily Difference Devotion. I hope you enjoy this series. Now pull out your Bibles and let's get into the Word of God. God bless my friends. Morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Difference Maker here coming to you live from the Dallas Cowboy Studio slash office coming to you with a discipleship lesson dealing with the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I know some of you may have been wondering, well, what happened to www.differencemakerbiblestudy.org? As I stated on there, I made the decision to shut the website down for a little bit um, and focus my attention more on helping out my local church. Um, giving to the local body of Christ um, and to my family as well. I want to dedicate most of my time there. But my YouTube clips are going to be live and running. may not put as many up there, but I'll try to get them out as best as possible. But what we're going to cover here is um, going through kind of a discipleship lesson. So this one, we'll call it Discipleship Foundations. This is Lesson 1, The Lordship of Jesus Christ. Since confessing and accepting the Lordship of Jesus Christ is the beginning point of the Christian faith, we must make sure our profession of faith is genuine and that it, it results in increasing submission to the authority of our Lord Jesus. Scriptural teaching is 1 Corinthians 1, uh, two, where it says, To the church of God, which is at Corinth, to those who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, saints by calling, with all who are in every place, call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Who are we? Who are we? Who are we Christians? We are part of a group of people throughout the world who call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To call on the name of someone means to invoke that person's help and authority. The Greek term for Lord is kurios, which is a master or sovereign. To call on Jesus as Lord means to cry out to him for salvation and forgiveness of sins because he is but a benevolent master and God. No, Romans 10.13 promises whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. You can also look at Acts 2 verse 21 and Acts 4 verse 12. Calling Jesus Lord recognizes his sovereign deity and right to rule. Calling Jesus Lord recognizes his sovereign deity and right to rule. We call him Lord because he is the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus was the Lord of the first century Christians. He is our Lord as well. In the midst of a Roman world, to call Jesus Lord was to say Caesar was not Lord. Instead, Christ was Lord, Emperor, and King. Jesus is the Lord of every believer. He is Paul's Lord. He was the Corinthians Lord. He must be our Lord too. Therefore, the Lordship of Christ is definitional to believers. Those in the church must understand that all we must do must be done under his Lordship. We share a common position as saints and a common sanctification because we share a common Lord. It should thrill our hearts to join others who call on Christ as our exclusive Lord. Listen here to 1 Corinthians 12, 3. Therefore I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God says Jesus is accursed. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God motivates the statement Jesus is Lord. For no one can say that 
and mean it except by the Holy Spirit. Jesus is Lord means that the human Jesus is the divine Lord of heaven. It is a confession that is made by every true believer. Romans 10, 9 and 10 teach that if you will confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So Jesus as Lord is the founding confession of the faith. If you do not confess in public Jesus as your Lord, you are unsaved and headed to judgment. 1 Timothy 6.15 calls Jesus, He who is blessed and only sovereign King, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Therefore, it is also means Jesus is my personal master who bought me, owns me, and rules me. To call Jesus Lord is to acknowledge your need to obey him as your master. Jesus pointed out in Luke 6 verse 46, Why do you call me Lord and do not the things I say? To the Jews, Jesus was not Lord. He was an imposter. To the Muslims, he is not Lord, but a mere prophet. To the Hindus, he may be one Lord among many, but not the Lord. To a liberal Protestant, Jesus is just a good moral teacher. However, when the Holy Spirit works in a man, what he has, says and means is Jesus is Lord. That the believer is then is subject to the Lordship of Jesus and promotes faith in Jesus as Lord. Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 4 5, We do not preach ourselves but Christ Jesus as Lord. Matthew 7, 21, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter. There will be many who call Jesus Lord, but never make it into God's kingdom. They are people who know of Jesus' authority and give lip service to it, but do not bow in obedience to him. It is not the one who says Jesus is Lord who gets in, but the one who proves his profession as, of Jesus as Lord by doing the will of the Father. It is not the one who says Jesus is Lord who gets in, but the one who proves his profession of Jesus as Lord by doing the will of the Father. Doing God's will as revealed in the teachings of Jesus is in the necessary mark, evidence, or sign that God has genuinely changed him and saved him. Saying Lord, Lord accomplishes nothing. Obeying the word of God is what God desires. Jesus tells people in the same passage, depart from me you who practice lawlessness. They were not doing the will of God, so their faith cannot save them. True faith in Jesus travels the narrow way and avoids false prophets. Saving faith seeks to please God with the whole life. Now, here are some questions and discussion you can apply. What does it mean to confess Jesus as your Lord? Have you confessed Jesus as your Lord? And do you see evidence of obedience in your life towards Jesus? What are some ways you see people profess Christ as Lord, yet do not demonstrate him to be their Lord? How can a believer cons consciously grow in the application of Jesus' Lordship? In what ways would you desire to grow in your responsiveness to your Lord? Be specific. For further exploration into the scriptures, you can look at Acts 20:24, 20, Romans 13:14, Philippians 3:20, Colossians 3:17, and Revelation 22, verse 21. Jesus is Lord, and the lordship of Jesus Christ is seen in your obedience to Him in your life. This has been Difference Maker saying to you, God bless my beloved. Stay under the Lordship of Christ Jesus. Oh.
It's time to go. We thank you for listening to today's Daily Difference Devotion. We hope that you enjoyed the presentation. Um, you can catch us on the web at www.differencemakerbiblestudy.org. You can also check, like us on Facebook, or you can even check us out on His Word, His Way, Thursday night's Real Talk Radio. That's on blogtalkradio.com. I am your host, Difference Maker, saying to you, stay into the Word of God. God bless, my friend.